G'day guys, guess what? The world is currently in the midst of the sixth wave of extinction. The last wave of extinction happened 65 million years ago when the dinosaurs croaked it. Those asteroids, they'll get you every time. And as extraordinary as this may sound, I am not lying, it's in a study released by the National Academy of Sciences. Here's a super fun timeline of mass extinctions on Earth. We're here in the Holocene extinction, signaled by the population decline and habitat destruction of mammals. The study that was released by the National Academy of Sciences tracked 177 vertebrae mammal species worldwide, showing they lost at least 30% of their habitat between 1900 and 2015. Some even lost 80% of their total population in that time span. The dwindling number of these animal species is something that could eventually lead to their biological annihilation. That's right. Biological annihilation. According to science writer Elizabeth Colbert, the Earth has lost 200 species of vertebrates in the past 100 years alone. If the trend of the past 2 million years holds up, those losses should have unfolded gradually over 10,000 years rather than a single century. Ugh. Let's do the math on this crazy extinction phenomena. Take 10,000 years, the general rate of any given mass extinction, divided by the past 100 years, and you can see that the world is literally dying off at a rate 100 times faster than ever before, thanks to humans. So how did we do this? Most of us don't hunt animals for game anymore, right? Except for these guys, the Trumps. Ugh. Ugh, where was I? Oh yeah. So when we humans cut down trees to build stuff or raise cattle to make beef for our cheeseburgers, we don't live sustainably. We speed up this period of extinction by the hundreds of years, destroying habitats and whole chunks of an intertwined ecosystem. And once we kill off an entire species, the same way we did with Tasmanian tigers, we can't bring them back, just like we can't bring back the dinosaurs. Sorry, John Hammond. Now, after past extinctions, it's taken 10 to 30 million years for global biodiversity to recover. So to put that into perspective, that's 40 to 120 times the lifespan of all humans in the history of Earth ever, which means all of humanity will be dead by the time the world has recovered from the damage that we've already done in one one hundredth of the time it took for the world to get over that massive asteroid hit. But there are some things that we can do to slow down the rate of this particular wave of extinction, but we'd need to do them fast. Number one, preserve land and oceans. Out of the whole world, only about 15% of land and about 4% of the oceans are safeguarded as national parks or wildlife preserves. So if we protect, by law, half of land and sea, we can save 84% of the world's species from going extinct. Number two, and animal poaching for the black market. Did you know that you can illegally purchase exotic animal meat? Rhino horns as an aphrodisiac, giraffe tails for bracelets, and tiger bone marrow as a form of medicine? We gotta crack down on this market, which currently makes $200 billion per year. And number three, something that we can all do, is eat less meat. Cattle grazing and agricultural activity takes up about 40% of all land usage worldwide. That's a lot of land just so that we can have cheeseburgers. Number four, stop having babies. Humans pollute the earth. Sorry, but it's true. And number five, we gotta stop burning fossil fuels. Wouldn't it be great if we all signed on to some international agreement to stop doing that, like the Paris Climate Accord? How do you intend to help slow down the rate of the Holocene extinction, if at all? Let us know your ideas in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.